I'm here in the Sierra Nevada mountains and I received a new smoker. It looks just like this for under a hundred bucks. Now my sponsor today is Timu. I want to thank them for the opportunity to do reviews on these incredible products that I've bought over the last few years on Timu. And now I have an opportunity to share them with you and get you incredible savings. So let's get to unboxing and see how this performs. User manual. Definitely a solid top. This thing's packed really well. More. And yet more. Now one of the things I like to do is lay out everything on the table. So when I look at the instructions, I can see everything clearly marked and start putting things together in a non-confusing manner. I like these illustrations because they show you how everything is gonna actually fit together including all the numbered parts. I like to make sure that I have everything on the table. I've checked all the parts, they're all here. So we'll go ahead and start the assembly. Now this has an indent. Make sure when you put this on, you put it on correctly. It needs to go over like so, not under. So make sure you watch instructions and get that overlapping to put it together. So now we have it assembled and you can see on the outside, it's overlapping and assembled correctly. Next, we're gonna put the legs on. There we go. Nice stand for a smoker. Next, we're gonna put on the clips that hold the grates to the lower section. Make sure you have this up so the grate sits in here. You don't wanna put it like this, it'll just slide off. Holds it nice and snug. Next, we'll put on our clamps to hold the top and the bottom sections together. And these are a little bit smaller screws, so they look the same. They're just a little bit different for these accessories or these little clamps. So you wanna make sure to get the smaller nuts and the smaller screws. There you go. Next, we're gonna put the door on down below for the charcoal. There you go. Now that's it for the bottom part. Now we're gonna go on to the middle. Now we're gonna put the handles on the sides of the middle. Now for the handle in the middle, you wanna make sure you put the screws in this way so the nuts will be on the outside. Otherwise, if you have it the other way, it'll be nearly impossible to get your screwdriver in there to hold it to secure it. And remember the rack clips? We're gonna do them again and put them on the inside. Rack number two. Perfect. Locks it in, doesn't go anywhere. Really good design. Next is the door. We're gonna go ahead and put that on just like we did the other one. Opens and closes easily. Latch is shut. Now the next thing we're gonna put on are these little clips. Those go on here with the curved side out because that's what's gonna let you clamp the top section to the middle section. There you go. Now the instructions say to put the upper layer on the lower layer and lock it. Well, that's pretty snug. Oh, that's definitely snug. That's not going anywhere. Really solid, not rattling, other than the rack I have down here. But, as you can see, no movement. Next, we'll put on the thermometer that goes on the top lid. Put the brace in back here, we'll screw it on, and get that thermometer nice and snug. Let's go and align our thermometer up. One of the things that you can do is people align it straight up like this. Little pro tip, when you put your thermometer on, I set my 225 at the top, because that way I just watch the needle go straight up and I'm right in the zone. You can put it the regular way if you want, but that's just the way that I do it and I find it very convenient when I'm smoking. Now we'll put the handle and the vent on top. Now for this one, I would suggest not using a screwdriver, use your hands. Make sure it's snug so there's some friction, but that way you can control the vents and it's not slopping around. Now remember for the handle, you're gonna go from the inside with the nuts on the top here 
so you can hold that screwdriver and get that nice and snug. Before you secure your handle, make sure to include this little rack, which attaches in here as well, that lets you hang hooks so you can hang your meat inside the smoker, which is really convenient. Remember, don't put your handle on first, or you're also gonna be screwing it and then saying, oh my God, I just screwed up. But I'm gonna save you that. Make sure you do this at the time that you do the handle on top. Now you have your handle all in place and you've got your rack underneath to hold the hooks. You can use these meat hooks or any hooks you have and you've got your meat hanging into that wonderful smoke column. Now we'll go ahead and put our charcoal base in here. Holds the charcoal. You've got your rack here. You can put in down below if you want to do really low grilling or you can put this in up at top Put this atop for grilling, or you can use the lower one for smoking. This sits on top. You wanna to smoke your meat, put it on top of here, let the column of smoke come up. It has different levels, so you can smoke way at the bottom if you wanna have a cooler smoke, longer time. You can put it in the middle section down here, or you can put it in the upper section like so if you wanna have a really hot, direct sear. And that charcoal's right there. I absolutely love that. If you wanna get really crazy, you can set this down on here. Now you've got the hottest charcoal with the meat right on top of it. That's gonna be for the ultimate sear. You've got your top, and it's time to get your smoke on, baby. So now I'm cooking a steak. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in at the top like so. I'm gonna add my charcoal, and then we're gonna go ahead and put this like so. And then we're gonna sear the steak and see how it comes out. Light your charcoal and place it in an offset configuration, which means all the charcoal's on one side and you have some open space on the other that you're gonna set your steak down on. That's gonna let you start that reverse sear to warm that steak up without searing it. Now this top gets warm, but you can hold it. It definitely won't burn you, but I still would recommend wearing a glove anytime you're around a grill and fire. Now with your charcoal going, this gets very hot and this also gets hot. So make sure you wear your glove from Timu. So that way you keep your hands nice and comfortable. I turn my steaks every five minutes until it reaches an internal temperature of 125 degrees. And look at the result. Absolutely edge to edge perfection. For all the viewers, you're gonna get an incredible $100 bundle. And if you download the app and you're a new user, you'll get up to 90% off on your current purchases. And for new users, you'll get this smoker for 30% off the price. Now, $85, which is absolutely mind blowing. And check the information and link below and you're gonna get up to 90% off if you're a new app user on Timu and a $100 bundle, which is absolutely mind blowing. Check below, make sure you take advantage of this special. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the assembly and my final cook of this New York strip. And make sure to check out that special below. Get on Timu, download the app, get your free gifts and an incredible discount on that smoker. Until next time, smoke on baby.